Hello everybody and welcome back to King of Dragon Pass. Um, this is the second time I've recorded because last time my microphone didn't record for some reason. Um, let's just go to let's proceed. We need to improve our food situation if we can. Um, a typical harvest and be blessed with good fortune this year. So let's put two points in crops, two in herds. Two in diplomacy, two in mysteries, and one in war. Let us proceed. Brenna died of an old age. She died happily, knowing that her grandchildren had learned the secrets of the hunt. Okay. Um. And Asteria, a trader from the Eagles, approaches the ring. We know that you have found a source of gems and would pay handsomely to know where it is. Her eyes glitter like fancy stones. As your peaceful neighbours, we feel that we deserve consideration for this matter. We are prepared to offer 40 cows worth of goods for the knowledge behind Anestria's back. Tarasarin Ter rolls his eyes at the request. Um, we will refuse her politely but firmly. It is ours. Um, Nestoria shows us two samples but to demonstrate the superior skills. But Tarasarin made it clear that he believed that no amount of cows could make up for the loss of our mine, and we held firm in our refusal. Finally, Nestoria left her head hung low. Let us proceed. Okay, well apparently we're going to be getting good fortune this year, so that could be handy. Um, let's go to magic. Maybe worship. Actually, you worship El Mal. Um, yes, this is sacrifice to El Mal. Hopefully we'll get the sun ritual, helps the crops ripen. Ritual sacrifice, 15 goods. Received, the revealed the workings of the shield ritual. Three great Orlanthi wind lords or holy warriors come to your chula. They retell famous stories of Orlanth, telling you secrets of the myth Orlanth and Oroka you did not know before. They delight the children with a display of magical flying abilities that Orlanthi grants them. Orlanth grants them. Then they ask the ring for help with a secret mission. The nature of our quest is so terrible that we dare not describe it. We need warriors, silver, cows, or a gift of magical power. How can you help us? We shall give them silver, aka goods. And we shall sacrifice... 13? We shall give them 13. They thanked us for a gift and departed on the wind the next day. Uh, still in sea season. Let's just go to here. Feuds. Argan Agar. Favors due to the mule deer. Who is the favor? No. Leave it to the white horse. Let's see who's closer. Jin Stenny. Um, we shall ask about the stag hearse, I think. We shall ask for information. We shall send four weapon things and twelve footmen. Apparently we should ask someone for food, but I don't think so. Let us send you out. Your emissary, Tarasarin, approaches the Jacini who seek information from them. What does he ask them? Um, I wish to know about the chief of another clan. Um, let's see. We're feuding with these guys. Let us proceed. 
Um, replies, I can tell you of Brian Wolf, Chief of the Circus. What do you wish you know? Is he generous as all Lampy Chief should be? Generously is celebrated only by lazy and shiftless clans who only wish to survive by cuddling gifts from, other, from others instead of working for the food they keep. Yeah, instead of working for food and keep, it is safe to say that he is not generous. Okay. We're now in fire season. We shall. So the emissary to these guys, resolve the feud, we shall send 18 goods, and we shall send the same as last time, try and resolve the feud if we can, we are a peace clan after all. Your cows get a rude shock while helping a cow give birth, the calf has two heads, the people are very frightened, the attending priestess of Uralda immediately destroys the deformed creature. Um, we shall sacrifice to Yeralda protection from deformed cattle. And we shall sacrifice 15 goods. Hopefully, that will improve our cattle growth as well, actually. The god talker said that Yeralda had heard our pleas. Okay, you're still travelling, it's quite a bit of a way to go. We are still in fire season. we do now. We shall sacrifice to El Mal again. We shall sacrifice 15 goods for mysteries. Reveals the workings of the horse friend ritual. Tarasin has printed your gifts to the Sakov clan and he sent it off of peace. The Sakovs receive your gifts politely. Brian Wolf the chief is hard to read. I fear the clan trader seems receptive. Their ranking weapon thane rider on the other hand clearly imagines himself striking you down on the field of battle. Um, 7 cows would be a minimum, 50 cows would be good, 100 cows would be excellent. Um, let's see. Let's offer them wealth. Seeing as they don't really work for themselves, we shall offer you 26 cows worth of goods and 46 cows. Let's proceed. They are pleased by our generosity and we ended the feud. Good, good. I heard a report that the eagles, eagles stole 34 of our cattle in the raid. They were gone before our trolls could reach them. We can ill afford the loss. Well, no, considering we just gave up a load of cattle as well. Blue Spruce stole 30 cows from us. Oh, we're losing so much cattle. Um, let's go to our weapon things. Some police patrols. Nine hours for three inner. <coughs> let's see. Let us build a stake perimeter. Let's set up that. Priests and priestesses are outraged. Someone has snuck into the temple of El Mal, left a crude, muddy effigy right in the middle of it. The people are concerned that this is a curse or some other form of bad magic. Hmm, I can't really see. Oh, that. Um, there is no big mystery. I put the effigy there <laughs> in tribute to the trickster god. Uh, <laughs> Why are you doing that, silly fool? You're scaring the people.
Sneak it into another clan's best temple? Hmm. Dedicate the statue to Yumal and move it to his own sacred hut. Oh well. Apparently it was going to give us a benefit, but it won't anymore. According to this guy. Who I don't really trust that much. Okay, we're still in Earth season. Um, let's see. Favours due. Blue spruce. <coughs> Send you out. Ask for cattle. Okay, we should send you. Um, we should take 15 instead of 20. Here your emissary approaches the blue spruces, asking them to make good on the favour they owe you. Terrison seeks a gift of cows from them. The custody number of cows granted by obligation is 20. How many heads of cattle do you ask for? I just ask for 15 because that put us on slightly better terms with them. I said that we were generous. It do seem slightly less red, only slightly though. Um, what could I do? We're in dark season. We should sacrifice to El Mal. Which you know we need. Search for farmers in nearby clans, any clan are distant kin. Just give them land only and recruit. Two spirit talkers seek audience with the ring to see if you have any need for their services. Spirit talkers are Orlanthi, but they wander around in the wilderness with ties to no single clan and their magic is a little different from the kind you're used to. They deal with spirits, not gods, they are strangers meaning that they are not of your own clan, but the clan but can be trusted to follow normal customs and beliefs. Um, so let's say Spirit Fetch or two. They have two. Let's just buy two, I think. We're going to be quite low on goods this year. But... They, when we use magic, it gives us a chance to get some of it back. So let's just use that. We add the spirit fetches to our treasure. We have nine goods, we're still in dark. Um, let us explore our chula. Travel slowly and send. Though we thought we found most of the secrets of Chula, but this latest expedition led us up the hill we hadn't climbed yet. There were f large fuse lumps of iron, which we know everyone wants. Iron. We were able to attract 78 new cows to the clan. They bought of them 76 children. Very nice. We are being raided by the trolls. There are nine dark trolls and 143 trollkin. They sipped past our patrols and we can only raise six with the pains. And we shall drive them off and we shall skirmish. Or maneuver. Let's just maneuver. Proceed. The trolls charged right into the trap we had laid for them. The battle didn't last long. Our magic overwhelmed theirs, even though we didn't use any. We drove the trolls off, and their survivors left without plundering our chula. Our auxiliaries were able to ease the wounds of one of our warriors. We didn't lose anybody to wounds or anything. 
Uh, two of their elite fighters were wounded, and five of their fighters were killed, and seven were wounded. So that didn't end up too badly at all. Um, let's see. Let's go to crafters. Take a point of fancy, put it on iron. We need 16 crafters, just assign that. We found our six skilled fighters after five seasons of travelling. It's not too many, but it could have been worse. Let's end that. We were being raided by the Wildcats, they have 12 horsemen and 145 swordsmen. Luckily our patrol spotted them and all 20 weapon planes and 137 of them. Um, we shall kill as many as possible by manoeuvring. Let us proceed. Um, the wildcats charged right into the trap we laid for them, but they fought their way clear. The fighting was fierce. We were driven from the battlefield and the wildcats made off with 15 cows. Urgh. We've lost so many cows. Um, well they did lose quite a few people, we've only got wounded people. Cows of your clan are excited to see a rainbow touch down on in one of your fields. As will land for your storm people, and there are few omens as positive as a rainbow. A beautiful gift left by the gods in the wake of a storm. It meant we were due for a time of good luck. Um, let's make friends of another clan. The blue spruce. Because they're right next to us, and they're not too well disposed towards us at the moment. The blue spruce pledged their friendship to us. Very nice. Let's just check now. Okay, so they're no longer pink, they are purple. Um, let's see. We're in storm season. Let's just increase our patrols. Six on the inner, twelve on the outer. Um, we could sacrifice. Although we are quite low on goods. Hmm. Let's just explore the Chula again. See if we can find anything else. Let's just send you out. We spent some time looking for anything of note in Lachula, but we didn't find anything. Well, that was the end of that year. 32 babies were born. We initiated 20 children as adults. The clan has 132 more people, 95 fewer heads of cattle, 6 more horses, and 38 more sheep than we did last year. We produced a lot of food. I think we ended up about 300 better than we did. 300, 400. About 370 better than we did last year. And we produce a nice amount of goods as well. Well, I'm going to call that it for now. Join me again for next year. I'll see you then.